I'm Lee Patterson for Inside Energy, and this is Wyoming Wind. With the mountain ranges the way they're laid out, the uh, wind funnels down through here, and it produces some good winds. Some might also call it evil. Wind rips across these plains hard and often, in the winter, blowing up to 60 miles an hour. But Wyoming is only 14th in actual wind power production, despite having one of the best resources in the country. Same thing is true in North Dakota, the number 12 producer, lots of wind, but... At this time, we are limited by transmission lines that carry the electricity away from the wind plants out in these remote areas. And into populated areas that could actually use it. But those sort of long distance lines just don't exist. The Denver-based Anschutz Corporation hopes to change that with a gigantic wind farm and transmission line called TransWest Express. It would cross Wyoming, Colorado, Utah, Nevada through federal and private land. Just the number of people you have to interact with to get approvals is overwhelming if you're building a very long line. This Wyoming rancher is one of them. They just drew a line across on the map and said, here we go. This other transmission project, backed by Utah-based Rocky Mountain Power, is set to cross these open plains on Hansen's Ranch. I want to see this land protected, not only for my family, but for other people to come out here and enjoy, just like you've done today. That said, Hansen believes this line and others will be built. The nationwide push for renewables, just like oil and gas drilling, will demand sacrifices from some to provide power to others. For Inside Energy, I'm Lee Patterson.